Hey, this is Jerry from Bliss Studio, and in this version of the Helix Jump tutorial series, we're going to set up a level complete. When the ball gets down to the end of the level, that's where we're going to trigger the level complete condition. And if you're ready to get this started, let's go. Okay, so here we are in Unity. I've gone ahead and already set up a level complete UI. So it's basically just a UI canvas. It has a panel attached to it, which is the blue background, and then also some level complete text. I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that off real quick because we don't need it on at the moment. And what I wanna do is I need to go ahead and set up a level complete platform. So one of these layers that is level complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna easily go ahead and just take my prefab of platform. I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate that. With my pro grids turned on, I wanna go ahead and just drag that down to the end of my level. And there we go, so it's now at the bottom, which is perfectly fine. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that all of these platforms are on. So turn those back on. And then I need to go ahead and unpack this platform. So I'm gonna do a prefab, unpack completely. So now it's no longer a prefab. I'm gonna go ahead and just change the name to level complete. And then I wanna go ahead and also delete the platform trigger because we're no longer gonna be falling through this platform. This is the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and just delete that. The next thing I need to do is to go ahead and tag all of these platforms as level complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new tag and we'll call this tag level complete. Go ahead and save that. And then we need to go back to these platforms and then also tag them with level complete. So we're gonna change from platform to level complete. Cool. The next thing we need to do is to also add a material to this. So I'm going to just go to my materials, pick something out here real quick. And I've got this pink bottom material. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply these to all of these platform uh, level pieces real quick. And then we'll come back in just a sec. We now have a layer that is completely different from the others. I've gone ahead and labeled it as level complete. I'm gonna go ahead and just take this and drag this down into my prefabs folder. And now it's a prefab and we are good to go. Now let's go ahead and look in our ball game manager. This is where we're placing all the Playmaker FSMs. So what we want to do is when we get to the bottom, here we're detecting if we hit a platform, we're gonna make the ball bounce. We want to check to see if we fall through one of the layers, and that's when we're going to do the camera follow. And then we also are now detecting game over. We can also use this FSM for our level complete. So I'm going to easily just copy one of these collision events. So let's just copy and paste that real quick. And it doesn't really matter where it's at in the stack because they're all going to be detecting at the same time. And so what we want to do is we want to detect a collide tag of level complete. So when we collide with a tag of level complete, we want to send an event of level complete. So I need to go ahead and add a new event. So we'll go level complete. And it's saying, hey, you don't have that transition. So let's go ahead and add it. And then now what we can do is go off to a new state that is going to be level complete. So let's go ahead and just name this level complete. There we go. And what is it we want to do during level complete? Well, we want to first turn our UI on. So I easily take my level complete UI game object, drag that down into my state. And I'm just going to turn the game object and activate game object. And we want to make sure activate is true. Let's go ahead and just name this state as well. Level complete. Hit return, that way it stays. There we go. So we're now activating our UI for level complete. I need to also take the ball and I no longer want the ball to bounce. So how can we do that? We can easily just take the Playmaker FSM that is our ball bounce, drag that down, and we're gonna just do a state machine, enable FSM, and just deactivate it. So all it's doing is essentially just turning that FSM off so it's no longer gonna work. There's one more thing that we need to do before we can complete. Let's go ahead and also take this collision event of level complete. Let's go ahead and just copy that. We also need to add that to our activate camera follow. So when we do follow through a trigger, we need to check to see there in this state if we're going to do a collision of level complete. So let's go ahead and add that in as well. Add that transition, go over to level complete. 
boom, there we go. So let's go ahead and give this a test real quick to see if it works. Here we go, and get to the final level and level complete. There you go. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it's something you can use for your game. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.